Time to play with some clay. All right, the first thing I need to do is set up my uh, pose. I haven't figured that out yet. I ordered another forearm for the uh, armature because uh, I'm missing the uh, front forearm. Although, I'll probably just go ahead and make a wire uh, thing until I get that. I don't know what I'm going to do on that. Uh, those things happen, and that's why it's really nice to have a company that will resupply you for a nominal fee the part that you missed. Okay, I'm going to reposition this uh, armature a little bit. The uh, head measurement will be half of the distance between this uh, femur's length and ideally the uh, foot should be about right there, the bottom of the foot. So I'm going to lower this a little bit. I don't need to have that uh, thick of a base. These uh, wires here, I don't know if you can even see them. Yeah, you can. These wires that are down here for the foot are pre-bent at the uh, right length of the foot. I don't like that pair of pliers. There's a nut here that holds the armature on the uh, support, and uh, I just needed to tighten that. And uh, got to figure out how I'm going to have the hips. If I'm going to have him standing straight. So what I'm doing is I'm basically trying to center the figure over the armature, I mean over the base. And you just loosen up these nuts that uh, tighten it up onto the uh, support and you can move it around. I've got to uh, adjust the uh, length from the post a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. Okay.
I did was I drilled a hole to match the diameter of the uh, put armature and uh, that's how I anchor the clay to the uh, base. screw down next to the uh, armature locks it in well I've got it anchored down now I just got to figure out what I'm going to do with the arms and everything like that but I'll work those things out uh, once I get uh, started putting clay on the uh, figure all right I'm uh, back filling now and uh, I've got the uh, circle sketched in, and uh, now it's just a matter of filling in behind it. I hit the uh, outside of it first with the clay because that strengthens the uh, circle that I made. I just need the base so that I got something to anchor the uh, feet on and uh, gives me something to start with. And it's uh, a big part of it that has to be done first. This figure is going to be not as complicated as uh, some others. It's more of a straight up and down sculpture and it's I'm try, trying to show strength in the figure by doing that I, so the next time I come in to my studio uh, I'll start uh, putting clay on the armature all right, I have a favor to ask of everybody. Now, don't freak out or anything. Uh, my daughter, Heidi, uh, is in the hospital, and it has nothing to do with the COVID virus or anything like that. It's completely a, a different uh, problem. And it's actually a couple problems, but... Uh, I would really uh, greatly appreciate everybody saying a prayer for my daughter. <sighs> Just give me a second. She's in a hospital south of Salt Lake, uh, city of Utah, and uh, she's really lonely because right now she's under quarantine be like the whole hospital system is. Uh, anybody that's in the hospital is under quarantine, and it's not because she's got the uh, virus, it's because they don't want her getting the virus. So nobody from the outside, family or anybody, can come visit her. She's going to have to have an operation, and she's a little scared because she's got nobody to talk to. I'd really appreciate prayers from my daughter, Heidi. And I know she'd appreciate it too. All right, next time, see you. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.